What's up guys? So um a lot of people wanted to know. I, I there's this guy in line, uh, one of my friends that I play a game with, and he's like, how much can you dumbbell press? And uh, you know, I don't do dumbbells really anymore. I used to not do barbells, now I don't do dumbbells that much. So today I'm gonna switch it up, give my uh, barbell a rest and try out um like a five by five of dumbbells and see what I can get. I'm thinking I can get like one tens, maybe one fifteens for five by five. So let's get in there and uh, you know change it up. You know, changing it up is always is always good. That's you know maybe this video will be about. It depends if I film the entire workout, but um you know changing things up would be good. Um, just to kind of you know separate yourself from the norm of what you've been doing, and then all of a sudden you come back to the, what you've been doing. and It's like boom, you know. A whole new, a whole new person has kind of emerged. So don't get stuck in your ways. You know, try new things out. You know, even for a week. You know, you're not gonna go backwards in your gains for a week. So as long as you're lifting, progressing, getting stronger, eating, eating in my case is my my my, my weak point, right? So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and um, I'll see you later or in the video. See you the video. All right, goodbye. As you see here, the entire gym shut down just so I could come get my workout in. Well, not really. This was about Sunday at about 4 o'clock, so there was nobody in the gym except for maybe one other person. Um, so today's workout is kind of curveballs, as you guys may see in the title, if that's what I decided to call it, is uh, just throwing curveballs into your workouts. Now, I'm not saying to change your workout up every single time you go in the gym, but if you've been doing flat barbell, flat barbell, flat barbell, flat barbell, you throw a dumbbell in there, your, your body's going to be like, what? are you doing? What are you doing, chest? So today I decided to do a 5x5 five five of dumbbells. Now I haven't done dumbbells since I've, since I've started uh, barbells and um, so that's been a couple months and so I wanted to do it because uh, someone online wanted me to do it that I'm, I'm friends with so I was like, you know what, I'll try it out. I wanted to see how much I can actually dumbbell bench press. Um, so I started out, I was like, you know what, I'll grab the hundos and see what I can do for a set of five. So I cranked out this set of five and then I wanted to increase. Now my gym does uh, have some heavy dumbbells, but they do not have 105s, guys. It just goes 100s to 110s. So what does Max do? I uh, I grab the 110s and I'm like, okay, you know, I can do this, Max. You know, the first set was uh, was pretty good. The first set went pretty well, so I wanted to, you know, try my luck out at the 110s. And as you'll see, I do manage to get all five reps, but trust me, the last one, which you're gonna see, is a grinder. Uh, I wanted to talk in this video about, um, you know, just just throwing curveballs into your workouts. Now, again, I'm not saying to switch your workout up every single time you go to the gym because that is not gonna be beneficial. The point of, oh my gosh, look at that grinder in the right arm. I was like, you're gonna get this. The point of, uh, you know, doing the same kind of workouts and the same um, exercises is so you can track progression. If you change your workouts up every single time you go in the gym, yeah, you know, you might be sore every single time, but, um, you know, you need to be able to, to monitor your progress on a specific exercise. So if you do dumbbell bench press, you need to do that for a good amount of time so you can, you know, your body can get used to it, your stabilizers can, stabilizers can get used to it, and you can track your progress, guys. You want to have a quantifiable, you know, measurement of your strength increases. If you keep changing by the exercises, you'll never know if you're progressing. You know, you'll just be getting marginally stronger because your overall, um, you know, your overall exercises are increasing, but you know, it's good to have specific workouts you want to target and then you just throw you change it up so that's what I did here you know I've been doing barbell for a while and um, you know I threw dumbbell in and can that help my barbell absolutely it's gonna you know activate a lot more stabilizers than uh, just doing the barbell um, and then one th interesting about, thing about the dumbbells is that my wrist doesn't do that little pain my uh, my pinky doesn't do the pain very very interesting so I, I stuck with dumbbells the entire workout um, I did more of a strength set so I did five by five with the dumbbells uh, for hundreds and then one set of 110s. Then I moved on with 80s for about four sets of about six, I believe, um, on the incline dumbbell press. And this is mainly just wanted to keep it a strength workout and moved on to flies and some other accessory exercises, just kind of wrap up the workout. But, um, you know, have you guys been stuck in your ways for a long period of time? Have you been doing the same exercise? Now, I'm not talking about deadlifts or squats. Those type of things are staples or paper clips in your diet, you know, that you should be doing on a regular basis that you don't really need to change. You can do variations of them, um, just like, you know, I'm doing with bench press and that. But I mean, like, especially on ex accessory exercises, whether it be the barbell rows. And if you're doing underhand barbell rows, your back exercise every single workout, 
you know, change it up, guys. Throw some curveballs into your workout because you'll be surprised at, uh, you know, A, how sore you feel, even though that's not a direct correlation of an effective workout. But um, you'll be amazed at how changing up your workout for a couple times can, and then you go back to the exercises you were doing before, you can see benefits, you can see gains, guys. So I promise you, change up your workout. So uh, what things have you guys been doing that you have, you know, for the past... 10 workouts have been doing the exact same exercise. I know you have some. And I'm not talking about the squats, the deadlift, or the bench. Just, just give me an excess or something that you, you feel you have to do. Hope you guys like this video, and until next time, max out.